Towards the tail end of last year, I began a journey that I will never forget. Zero to ten thousand dollars. We started with a pair of Kuwad wheel adapters and turned that into ten thousand dollars worth of video games, including a copy of Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cut. Well, if you look at these shelves right here, they're empty. Empty as my soul was when I had to get rid of the last collection. But hey, I've learned one thing, and that's. Don't don't mess around with the IRS. They they we, they when they want their money they get. Toriel bills got in the way and uh, now we're left with this empty monstrosity. It's sad and lonely. Today, Today we, start we start a journey, journey anew. anew. We're building a ten thousand dollar video game collection from scratch. Zero dollars in our pocket. Nothing. In the next few months you will see this empty lonely shelf unit pile up with. Beautiful bundles. The journey starts today, zero to ten thousand, ten thousand dollar video game collection season two. But first, we need to get something for free, and Marketplace is my best friend for that. So, without further ado, my buddies, friends, family, and the guy next door that keeps yelling at me to shut up. Let's start this thing. The beginning of the $10,000 video game collection part two, of course, starts right now. Three. Various electronics worth a little bit of cash. Well, I hope so. I'm seeing Bose headphones in there. And if y'all know Bose, they, they push money. Minimum of $50 these headphones are worth. Let's go. Super excited right here, free stuff. First up, we got a good old tea kettle right here. A hot water heater, maybe, I don't know. Not worth anything. Second up in the bag of canvas glory, we got a Sirius XM FM radio station. Not worth any money. But the big boy, the Bose headphones. Now I'm gonna crack these open. We're gonna check out the condition because if they are in good condition, well, we got some money in the bank. It's about time because I'm tired of being broke. Yeah, these aren't super oh, good shit. condition. Sorry. No! Looking like my man fell down a flight of stairs with these on. They're trash. But as you can see from this cop right here, they push $150 cash. Now that's a lot of money. No, these aren't gonna go for that. No. See, in this game right here, we want money fast. And how do we get money fast? Well, we undercut the market. We sell for much less than they're currently selling for. I don't want to sit on these. I want them to go. I case we got the card I, I'm pretty happy yes they're beat up bad but we got some cash coming in and we got it coming in quick stay tuned for the sale report I'm in front of Goodwill right now and there's a reason why it's because we got cash in the bank baby the Bose headphones sold thank the law sold for $69.99 seven dollars is the cost of shipping and eBay is gonna take their fat little cut of nine bucks thank you eBay. spend $22 and 70 cents might as well round it up to 23 whenever I hop into Goodwill's I check out the outdoors section I'm looking for baseball gloves, baseball bats, y'all name it. There's a lot of good stuff that has good profit margins, but today I went in there and I found some roller blades. Priced at $14.99, yeah, that's right, they sell big. I was looking at them for a little bit because sometimes roller skates can be a dud. They don't sell fast, that's for dang sure, but these ones had cups sitting over 100 bucks. Y'all know that was a scoop for sure. Because I'm gonna list them at a very low price. I'm gonna undercut the market, as you guys know. Went to the electronics section, perused it a little bit, and I found this airplane yoke steering wheel thing. And when they're asking six bucks for an item that pushes 50 bucks, yeah, that's an easy sale. I'm gonna undercut the market like always, and it's gonna sell quick for 30 plus. It's a flight yoke. I haven't tested it out yet, but I'm excited to. Because I like cash and I want to get some games on our shelves. So I'll let you guys know when there's a sales update. These are actually my size, so y'all know I gotta try them out. Let's go! The challenge continues. I'm about to spend 10 more bucks from the budget. I know we got 21 sitting in there now, so we got some. Guys, this popped up on the menu. Switch Joy Cons for 10 bucks. You know that's a steal. That's at least 20, 30 bucks added to the budget once they're sold. Let's pick them up. Hey, 10 bucks? Uh, yeah. 
Awesome. Did you read the description? Yeah, there's a finicky left. Yeah, this one right here that I felt, and that's why I'm getting rid of it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. just, it wasn't working well on the switch, or it's just. Yeah, feels a little weird. bit. I don't know. It would release too soon. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Thank you again. 10 bucks yeah. is great. Okay, so as you heard, one of the Joy-Cons has a little bit of a finicky trigger thing here. All good, $10 off the budget. That leaves us with about $11 left. These are gonna sell fast. I'm gonna price them nice and low. It's at least gonna add $20 in. Guys, those roller blades haven't sold yet. And they're not going to, I tell you what. Roller blades stink, man. They take a long time to sell. They take like a year to find the right buyer. We also have that flight yoke thing. That hasn't sold yet. So we got three items in our eBay inventory. We need some sales, man. I want to get some games on our shelves, you feel me? Hey, so that flight yoke stick sold, uh, sold for 25 bucks. Shipping cost 25 bucks. So, went to Puerto Rico, I guess. I guess shipping to Puerto Rico is pretty high. I don't know. Uh, eBay fees were three dollars, and of course we had the six dollar buy cost. Um, guys, I'm no mathematician, but uh, yeah, we lost. Uh, we lost a couple dollars on this one, so just wanted to check in. See, you. see ya. Switch Joy Con sold, baby. Huh? Listed them for $39.99, sold for $39.99. Which is actually a really good price for Joy Cons, guys. We sell much lower than the market price, so they sell quick. But the sales ain't done yet. You guys remember those roller. Oh! oh. oh. So. Oh, anyways, those rollerblades, they sold for $79.99, 80 bucks with a $10 fee, buyer paid shipping, that leaves us with $70 in the profit zone on that one. So $70 profit on the skates, $30 profit on the Switch Joy-Cons. Yes, we did lose a little bit of money on that flight joystick. I'm still mad about that. Remember to always put calculated shipping when you guys are listing heavy, big items because if someone in Puerto Rico scoops up your listing, well, Good luck. <laughs> 70, 30, eight already in the bank right now. 108 bucks. What can you do with the 108 bucks? Let me tell you what you can do. Well, you could stretch that to the moon. I'll check back in when something comes up. Wish me luck. Let's go. Guys, it's been a while. I'm, I'm growing more and more weary of my time here on Facebook Marketplace. I have $108 in the bank and we've got nothing. I have not been able to do it. I'm a failure. So much so that look at these shelves. They're still empty, so empty that I've started making them into storage for my boxes. How upsetting is this? This is sad. But right, there's hope. I hopped on Facebook Marketplace and I messaged some people, 40 people to be exact, the same message. That message being, hi, I see that you're selling some miscellaneous goods on your commerce profile, wondering if you had any old video games lying around collecting dust that you would consider selling. I mentioned a couple systems as examples, Nintendo 64, GameCube, Sega, PlayStation, etc. Let me tell you this, guys. We got about 20 no's, so that hurt one yes i'm not getting my hopes up or anything because the woman said hey i actually have a bunch of ps4 games my husband has a bunch of ps4 games he's about to donate are you kidding me i'll take them so we're talking three here now don't get me wrong is godzilla gonna be in this lot no probably not but hey free is free so let's go <laughs> and there's a hundred in there. I'm sitting there walking up to this guy's place thinking I'm gonna get a small grocery bag with five games. No, I got the whole collection. I'm not gonna get my hopes up too much. They are PS4 games. We're gonna take them back home, break it down, see if there's some gems in there. I am crossing my fingers for Godzilla. Let's go. Stop what you're doing, sir, ma'am. Open up Facebook Marketplace and type in the word couch. It's gonna come up with a few results. Some are dirty, some are clean. It doesn't matter. The thing is, you're not actually looking for a couch. No, you're gonna message, you're gonna message 10 people and you're gonna say the same thing. Hi, exclamation point. I checked out your commerce profile and it looks like you're selling some miscellaneous stuff. And I was wondering if you had any old video games lying around. Sega, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo 64, etc. Send the message to 10 people. Now you might get 10 no's or get something like this. 
Raygon House. Hooray! Now I pulled up to this residence expecting five filler titles and a nice little dirty grocery bag, but I got a stacked box full of a whole PS4 collection. Now do we collect for PS4 on these shelves? I'm gonna say no. I like the PS4. I'm actually currently playing Burnout Remastered right now. It's a solid system, but we're looking for a little bit older, at least for now. But is this stack even worth the free that it, well, obviously it is. Come on, I'm not gonna lie, I'm happy no matter what. First stack of games right here. Nothing too crazy near Automata, that's not bad. I think that's a good game. Now, PS4 doesn't have a lot of valuable games. Obviously, we wanna see Godzilla, and it might be in here, I'm really crying crossing my fingers till they break. Next stack in the lot, I'm seeing Call of Duty, obviously. We got Resident Evil 2, that's kind of sick. Devil May Cry 5, I am happy to see that one in there. Capcom Bang. Metal Gear Solid and Evolve. This one has a little bit of a slip cover to it. Sonic is in here, Ratchet and Clank. Two sealed hits. We got Madden 23, that's not too bad actually for a sealed game. Still holds its value in 2024. Every collection's gotta have a good Grand Theft Auto 5. Here's another a little stack not too bad uh, guys i'm not seeing godzilla lots of assassin's creed there we go this is actually a sick game really scary don't play with the vr headset that's a warning losing speed on the box quickly and there's nothing crazy in here of course you can't be free we got outlast i actually wanted to try out this game special edition skyrim that one might have some value to it stacks keep coming i think we got our ten thousand dollar video game collection already dark souls no man's sky another Madden in there, unfortunately. And the last of the games finally up there. Yep, I'm not seeing Godzilla, unfortunately, but oh my caramba! How can you say that's not crazy for free? Is there value here? I'm not entirely sure. I no matter what, free is free, so I'm happy, guys. Even even GameStop gives you pretty good cash for most of these PS4 titles. Don't worry, these games right here aren't staying up on these shelves. No, they're going for sale on eBay as quick as you can say, Jack Rat. We're currently at $108 in the bank fund right now. This is gonna bring us a little bit more cash. Let me tell you, it's gonna bring us some more cash. Seriously, hop on Facebook Marketplace if you haven't already. Shoot your shot. It's the worst thing that could happen is someone says no. It's funny because the progress so far on the video game collection has been really slow for me. This is weeks so far that we've gathered a hundred plus dollars in all these PS4 games. It's been a couple weeks. To you guys, it's been a few minutes, so I really appreciate you hanging in there. We're gonna get this bank fund up. We're gonna get an OLED switch or a Series S to trade. Count on it. So I've counted all the games and there are 80 PS4 Damn. games in this bundle. What? So this is what I'm gonna do right here. I'm gonna have two boxes. Each one of these boxes I've found can hold 40 of these games right here. I'm gonna list each box for $100 each. Plus shipping. Buyers gotta pay shipping on that one. It's gonna be an expensive ship. $100 per box, that's gonna be 200 bucks. Which is crazy, which, and that's gonna sell quick. I know it's gonna sell quick. I'm gonna list it up and it's gonna sell fast. In the meantime, friends, let's see if we can get something on Marketplace that we can put on this shelf before the end of the video. Something's gotta go up here because these PS4 games ain't. How about PS3 games though? This posting woke me up this morning. No, the guy's not asking $20 per game like they usually would. No, this guy's got a little sanity to him. It's 20 bucks for the whole bundle. Now, if you look at this picture, it doesn't look too exciting, but wait till I pick it up. You're gonna be surprised what you see. How's it going? Good. Hey. I wanted to ask, is this yeah. all the games you have that you're selling? All That's the video games? all of them. Just yeah. these ones? Well, it's still a solid deal for 20 bucks. Thank yeah, you again. Yeah, for sure, man. Have yeah. a good one, bro. Appreciate it. Right on. Nice little box of PS3 games for 20 bucks. I spent more than that on toilet paper last week. Yes, in high school, they called me the digester. Hey, there's a lot of good games in here. Let me point out a few of them to you. Facebook Marketplace ain't dead, and this is a good example of that. First up, we got 50 Cent Blood on the Sand. That's a solid $30, $40 game right there. Add it to the budget, baby. Count on it. Overall, it's not an insane lot right here. I thought I had a SmackDown vs. Raw 2010 might be a good one. Here's the big one in the lot. 
Yeah, that's right, saw. 50 bucks on this game right here. If you ever see it for less than 10 bucks, well then saw off them chains you're wearing and get to run. Saw 3 actually pushes 100 bucks. No matter what, if you see a saw game, that's a bolo. Be on the lookout. The plan here with these games is to sell saw, sell 50 cent individually. That should make us like 70 bucks and sell the rest as a lot and make a fat stack of cash for the budget. By the way, if you are wondering if these cases are empty, they are not. They are actually fully complete in absolutely beautiful condition. Checking out saw right here. You know it's got the manual involved. Yeah. We're on a roll here, guys. 88 bucks left in the budget. I ain't dead yet. Let's go. How many people are subscribed to Cody with the k -Wall? Approximately 50-50. Big cash in the bank today. We sold saw for $49.99 and we sold 50 cent for $49.99. That's $100 total right there. Of course, it's going to be $13 in eBay fees. Thank you, eBay. And then roughly $3.50 cents to ship each one of these that's twenty dollars off of it eighty dollars added on to the budget that brings us to 168 bucks guys let me tell you i think that's enough to get an xbox series s of course i gotta do a little scour on facebook marketplace but if you've seen this channel before you know that it can be done these are the games that didn't sell and i kind of want to hold on to them let's get something on these shelves today shall we the beginning of the ten thousand dollar video game collection who would have thought ps3 would be the start of something crazy cool today. No offense to PS3, but there's a reason why it's on the bottom shelf. I'm gonna get these shipped out and I'll check back in when we got a Series S or something different. I don't know. See ya. Got one Xbox Series S for a solid price. 150 bucks. Comes with the controller. Everything's included. Now it's dark out right now. Do I caution doing late night deals? Deals at night. I caution doing deals at night. Don't do them if you have the chance. It's really easy to get robbed and in fact I'm actually heading to a pretty sketchy area so wish me luck. Pray that I don't get hit. Hey. Xbox Series S, yeah, 150 bucks, right? 150. Yes, 150. Yeah. There's the expansion card. I didn't want to throw it in there in case it got okay. damaged. Awesome, looks good. Thank yeah. you again. Jolly old Saint Cody's got a good old Xbox Series S right here, and you know what? It's. So what do I do with an Xbox Series S that smells like the underside of a Kodiak after too much Taco Bell? Well, I'll show you. I wasn't exaggerating when I said this baby stunk. As you can see from the side angle here, this baby is roasted with nastiness. It really does stink. Ooh wee, and it's nice and brown for me. There's dust packed inside of the USB ports and all the ports around, and it's got a film of smoky residue inside of it. The controller itself looks like it's been handled by a snot-nosed brat. That'll be fun to clean. Guys, I got the things right here. I use Clorox or disinfecting wipes. I grab a toothbrush. These dryer sheets are amazing for masking smells and creating a nice new pleasant one. I'm gonna grab some isopropyl alcohol. I got paper towels right here. Stay tuned for the after. She turned out to be absolutely disgusting, but it was cleaned up nice and beautifully. All the ports cleaned out. Guys, I do this with every single Series S I pick up. I make sure they smell good. I want my customers happy. And the controller looks absolutely brand new. Now, guys, if you check out this Seagate one terabyte SSD card right here, yeah, they push $110. This little card right here is pretty much paying for the lot back. We basically, cause it's going back into the budget bank. Y'all know what it is. So I'll be listing this one up as quickly as possible. Guys, we have a nice little bundle right here. We got the cords, got a nice elite controller right here with the Series S. Of course, the process isn't fully complete. The smell is still lingering just a little bit. So the next step is to encase this Xbox Series S in this box right here, along with the controller, the cords, and a ton of these dryer sheets. 
throw a couple extra in there for good luck, guys. This is gonna be sitting for a while until a good trade comes along. $150 down, $18 in the budget, guys. That's not a lot of money, no, but we have yep. stuff in the store right now. That'll sell. It takes time to gather up these funds, and I know for you guys it's been minute after minute, but for me, it's it takes weeks. 18 bucks in an Xbox Series S. By the time the next video comes out, my friends, my fellows, my brothers, my sisters, and everyone in between will have a trade lined up. And this sad looking shelf right here will look just a little bit happier on this historic season two road to 10K.